Coach PJ here. Are you letting the fear of failure stop you from making progress in your business? Do you find that failure is paralyzing you? Successful entrepreneurs understand that failure is a part of the journey towards a successful business. The lack of success or a failure to meet your expectations is nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed about, especially among business owners that are willing to set big goals and take risks. Failure is often accompanied with guilt, shame, or fear. At the very least, there can be disappointment and maybe even some lost time and money. It is important that failures don't define you as a business owner. The failure is about the project or the process, not the person. Failure or fear of failure can prevent you from moving forward and taking the much needed risks that will propel your business forward. If you want more information about not letting fear hold you back, check out my video. When you understand that failure is not personal, it is easier to look at what happened and learn from it. It's not about assigning blame, but rather understanding what went wrong and how to prevent it from happening again. These are learning opportunities, an opportunity to become a better business owner. There's a common belief that we actually learn more from our failures than we do from our successes. We can more easily identify what isn't working and change it than identify what is working and that needs to continue. When you shoot for the moon, success means you reach the moon. Failure in this circumstance means that you still reach the stars. Still a great success in perspective. Another theory that many entrepreneurs ascribe to is to fail fast. This will provide more learning cycles. The ability to get feedback will allow you to take those learnings, make adjustments, and find what works. Let's look at how this plays out in the following situations. Perhaps you launched a new product that did not sell well or as well as you hoped, or you lost a big client and took a big hit in your revenue, or you lost a well-performing employee. These are all common examples of failure. In the circumstance where a new product didn't achieve the sales, you learn more about your sales process. You learn the impact of pricing. You can learn what needs to change to create sales. If you lose a big client, you are forced to take a look at your portfolio of clients and determine how you make up the revenue. This may require you to look at how you attract and service more large clients. When you lose a well-performing employee, you have the chance to look at employee retention, including how are you challenging and rewarding the high performers? What type of culture are you building? Do you have competitive compensation and benefits? Setting goals and taking risks are the foundation of an entrepreneur. The best case is being wildly successful. The alternative is not failure, but rather creating opportunities to learn. If this is something that you're interested in learning more about, I have a number of ways to do that. We can jump on a quick call. We can get together for a coffee. Or if you know that this is absolutely what you need and you want to get started right away, I offer a complimentary coaching session where we'll dig in deep into your business, identify the opportunities, and put a plan in place to go forward. If you got value from this video, like, subscribe, comment below, leading real people to achieve real results. Your business profit. Until next time.